Hey nerds, what's up? So today we're going to be starting the long journey of ranking all of Disney's feature animated films. I'm a big Disney fan myself, so I thought it would be fun and I thought you guys might like watching my journey along the way. Since there are a lot of Disney films and I don't want this video to be an hour long, I'm going to be ranking the films in sections based on the times that they came out. So let's get started. We're going to be starting in The Golden Age, which is Snow White, Pinocchio, Fantasia, Dumbo, and Bambi. So, Snow White. Oh, uh, excuse me. Hey, this is editing, Corinne. So, I have a lot of reasons why I ranked these movies where I put them. And when I turn on the camera, all of those thoughts and reasonings just uh, kind of go out of my head. So, I may come in every once in a while to just reiterate some of those thoughts that I forgot to talk about. Okay, back to the video. I feel like there is a almost like an homage to Snow White. You know, it's their it's Disney's first feature animated film ever. And it's kind of what projected the company forward. So, but, and I do love Dopey. Also, the dwarves are in that style of character that we'll see throughout their animated films to come. But I did not like the trees. As a child, mm -mm, those scared me very much. Uh, I think for now we're gonna put Snow White in a solid C. Yeah. I apologize if you can hear my computer trying to fly. It's about to take off. Okay, next is Pinocchio. Pinocchio, Pinocchio. I am not a huge fan of Pinocchio. I watched it. Another film um, in the Golden Age, which scarred me a little bit. Uh, anyone remember the donkey scene? Um, I gotta put Pinocchio mm, in a D. I don't know about F. I feel like F is super harsh. Fantasia. Okay, so. I feel like Fantasia is either like a lot of people's favorite because of like nostalgia and like they love music and things like that, or it's like people's least favorite because it's just music. I am a fan of Fantasia. You got like the Sorcerer's Appre Apprentice, the Sorcerer's Apprentice in there, super classic. I do like the two Fantasia 2000 actually better, but though you do have the creepy, do I like, my problem is, do I like Fantasia just as much as Snow White? I almost want to put it in the same category as Snow White because it's like that nostalgia. I think I'm gonna put Fantasia with Snow White for now. Next, Dumbo. <sighs> Dumbo, Dumbo, Dumbo. It's a weird journey. They get drunk off of soap. I'd not like it more than Pinocchio. I think I'm gonna have to put Dumbo in F. It's just, it's not, it's not, there's not a whole lot of memorable things that I enjoyed about Dumbo. Bambi. Do I, so, 
Again, Golden Age is hard because it's like when Disney's exploring and doing all of these like creative and just really like artistic, just showing like how good their animation studio is. Thank you. Showing like their animation studio skills. I don't... Mm. Something that you'll notice I focus on when I talk about each of these movies is the animation. As you know, if you're subscribed to my channel, you know how much I love art. And art, especially Disney's art, has a huge influence on how I draw and how I grew to love animation, art, and drawing in general. So I can't really separate the two when I'm talking about ranking their videos. I think for Bambi... It's very cute. Like all of the little critters are very cute. Um, do I like it? Okay. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to move Pinocchio down with Dumbo. And then I'm going to move Bambi into D. D for deer. <laughs> okay. So that is for the Golden Age. We're starting off real strong. Nothing is higher than a C. I'm so sorry. I'm not going to be doing the wartime era because a lot of these films, one, I actually have not watched them. I've seen The Three Caballeros and I think Ichabod and Mr. Toad. But everything else, um, it's all just compilations of short animations, which is fine and that's just what they did at the time. So, but I, I don't have enough experience in watching them to really give a good opinion, so I'm just going to skip them. The Silver Age. Okay, Cinderella. Cinderella. Now we're getting into, well, I was going to say now we're getting into the Disney princesses, but Snow White was first. Cinderella. I have a soft spot for Cinderella. Um... A lot of reasons, including um, my mom's called me Cinderella. I've dressed up as Cinderella. I've been in Cinderella, the play. Um, it's a very sweet story. Roger and, Hammer Roger and Hammerstein Cinderella's great. Uh, especially the one with Brandy. Uh, so I gotta put Cinderella. I don't know if it's A tier. Hmm. We'll put it, we're going to put it in B because it's definitely, excuse me, it's definitely more enjoyable than Snow White. It's a very sweet, it does have Gus Gus. I love Gus Gus. Mm -hmm. We're going to put it for B for now. Alice in Wonderland. I feel like I'm gonna get flack for this. Alice in Wonderland was not one I watched a lot. And it was one of those Disney films that I felt like did a lot of like episodic conflicts in just one movie. So like she has to paint the roses. She gets, she has to, you know, she, she goes down to Wonderland she has to figure out the shrinking potion and, and the enlarge snack or vice versa. She has to go explore. She has to talk with the blue caterpillar. She talks with Cheshire Cat. Like, it's just a lot of, like, point A to point B to point C to point D. Point, like, it's not necessarily there's, like, a full plot. It's just more... All of these events happen which is fine and that's like the charm of Alice in Wonderland um, I definitely will put it a oh, would I put it above Bambi mm. do I like it more than Snow White and Fantasia I'm gonna put it with Bambi please don't at me okay Peter Pan Peter Pan I think Peter Pan is gonna go on the same tier as Snow White and Fantasia? Hmm. No, 
No, we gotta put it with Cinderella. At least. Super fun. Captain Hook. The Crocodile. Tinkerbell. Mm, do we like it more than Cinderella? Lady and the Tramp. Mm. Okay. This is gonna happen a lot. I'm gonna be keep changing my tiers and my tiers. <laughs> I'm gonna keep changing my rankings as I add more movies in because it's like, do I like this movie more than this movie? Okay. So I'm gonna move Peter Pan up to A because it's very entertaining. It's very fun. It's very whimsical. We love Peter Pan. Uh, okay, Cinder, no. What am I on? Lady and the Tramp. Lady and the Tramp's gonna go with Cinderella. It's a very sweet story. Puppies. Uh, most, one of the most iconic Disney scenes with the spaghetti. Yeah, I really like that one. It's very nostalgic, it's very nice. Sleeping Beauty. Ooh, Sleeping Beauty was my favorite Disney princess for a very long time. And this was one where their art was like a little different. They were exploring a different art style and I really liked it. Maleficent, I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, we're putting it up in A. 101 Dalmatians, puppies! Yeah, I think 101 Dalmatians, it's such a nostalgic, really fun to go back to. It's up there with Lady and the Tramp and Cinderella. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're tracking now. We're tracking now. Sword in the Stone. Now, Sword in the Stone, I have not seen in a long time. But I love, love King Arthur and the lore of Camelot and King Arthur and Merlin. Um, it's definitely a different take on... Like Merlin, Merlin is a very interesting take in Sword in the Stone. Mm. The problem is because I haven't seen it in so long, I don't, I don't know. I think we're gonna have to put the Sword in the Stone at C for now because I know I love Arthur. The Barracuda, I remember the Barracuda or whatever fish was in that moat, it was very scary. I did not like it. Okay, last one for today is The Jungle Book. So I actually have watched Jungle Book more recently um, than probably most of these uh, because my sister and I binged Jungle Book, the original one, before we went and saw the Jon Favreau directed new Jungle Book. Um, with the CG and I have to tell you that I loved the new Jungle Book a lot more than the original um, there's a lot of things that I preferred in the new one um, I felt like again Jungle Book the original was another like episodic like point A to point B to point C to point D there was more of a plot in Jungle Book than I feel like in Alice in Wonderland where he's, you know, you know, protecting Mowgli from Shere Khan. Um, but it was still, that's why I love the Jon Favreau one, because he gave Shere Khan a more, like, more of a reason why he loved, or why he loved, why he wanted to kill Mowgli, because he was a man. So, for the original Jungle Book, I think, oh wow, I'm gonna put it down in D, with Alice in Wonderland. Mm. So, so far nothing has reached S tier, and I know because I'm saving them for specific ones that I already have in mind. What do you guys think of my rankings? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Do you think I'm completely wrong in all of my opinions? I would love to know. Were you scarred by any of these films? Because I know I was. But I still love Disney. Um, yeah, I hope, did you enjoy this video? Do you want me to keep going through Disney? I probably will keep going whether or not you want me to, but um, thanks again so much for watching. If you like this type of video, let me know down below. What other things should I rank? If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Maybe stick around, subscribe. I plan to do a bunch of nerdy and art, nerdy related content and art related content. 
I'm planning to explore a bunch of different types of videos, so stick around if you want to see what other uh, nerdy shenanigans I get myself into. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I have been wanting to do this for a while. I'm a big Disney fan. That's weird. That's weird. That's weird. <sighs> hey nerds, what's up? So today we're going to be, I don't even know what I'm saying. So today we're going to be ranking. I'm gonna be splitting up ranking. I'm going to be splitting. I'm going to go, I'm going to be going by each category. I'm going to be going by each time period. I'm going to be sorting it. I'm a big Disney fan myself and oh, I'm a big Disney fan myself and so I wanted to start joining the YouTubers who I'm a big Disney fan myself and so I wanted to do this uh, for fun. Mm. I'm a big Mom's <laughs> time Bird Dumbo, Dumbo, Dumbo. Since there are a lot of Disney films, I'm going to be starting from the very beginning and going through each section. Thank you. Excuse you. No, ma'am. Stop. 